build a factory five Daytona coupe with a one of a kind power plant, a hand built pre-production Ford Performance Illuminator 5.2 XS engine with 580 horsepower at the crank. Well, it's great to be back here in Wareham, Massachusetts, and we are here at Factory 5 Racing, so why not kick things off with president and owner, Dave Smith. Dave, thanks for having us back here, man. Stoked to have you back. I mean, yeah. it's been a year, but we got a lot of changes. All right, well, last time we built 818C. We made it unique itself with an EcoBoost, but now we're building another flagship vehicle, and this one is even more unique. We took our coupe, and we wanted to kind of make it stronger, so all new space frame, and now we got a 5.2 going in, so we're gonna build you a super supercar. And this is the first ever engine of its kind, this 5.2 XS, monster horsepower, big torque, and this is basically the evolution of Factory 5 and of Ford Performance. So our company by nature is collaboration. Our Snap-on, Willwood, all our partners stepped up. And as much as I'm excited about the build, I'm excited about pulling the trigger on the car. In 22 years, all the projects we've done, this is the biggest one yet, and it's gonna have a great payoff at the end. It's gonna be really exciting, so let's get on with it. Tony Zulo, here we are once again, brother. How What's we going doing? On, brother? What's yeah. happening, brother? Man, talking to Dave for five minutes, already looks like you got this thing almost ready rolling. Yeah, we're just trying to get us on sneakers right now. We're just putting some air jacks in it. Air jacks, that's a really cool race element. And normally you don't put these on this chassis, and that's something you see in like a Le Mans car. This is actually the first race car we've ever done it in. So this one's pretty legit. It's gonna go from here to the track. Normally you put on the corners, but you're putting the air jack in first. These tolerances are super tight between the engine and the suspension. So this has to go in first, little control arm goes in and the bolts go in. What's the advantage? of installing these. It's got four pickup points, so it's super easy to get this thing off the ground to ever do any maintenance to it or any type of repairs. You're putting air to the vehicle, there's one source, and it, it yep. pushes the vehicle and off the ground. Coming off the ground about a foot and a half. Looking good, coming along, bud. Some of the other Factory 5 vehicles use donor parts from other manufacturers. What's custom and what's OEM on the corner of this chassis? Everything pretty much is made here except for the hub. Lower control arms are made by us, spindles are made by us. The upper control arms we get. Custom made springs and Coney shocks. Yes, sir. And what tool are you utilizing here? We're actually using a 3 8 long reach ratchet. I can actually fit it in with the control arm there. It's got great leverage. You can actually put some torque on that. When everything's put back together, we'll get down and torque it to spec utilizing different tools. Yeah, we'll just tighten up now. We'll get our final spec after. How we doing, Jim? And look at this thing opening up and you see all your tools, a mobile station. Why this? I'm seeing a lot of tool storage already around here. Well, this is great because I can roll it over here where I'm working on the car and let those guys use the big box. There's these racks I can put hardware in, which I'm using right now. Another rack in here for tools. It's just real convenient. Right on. Well, I'll let you get back to work. Great. Tony, seeing you guys and the team thrashing on this thing, moving right along, a lot of aluminum, and I'm seeing that cordless there in your hand. Looks like you can get into some tight places with that. I mean, we have a ton of tight places, all these sides here and in the front where the steering goes through. I mean, I can get in there with that drill, with the combo with their short bits. And it's got the light as well, so you can see if it's dark. A lot of torque, and basically one battery's done this whole engine bay, so. Right on, moving along. I won't stop you anymore. Yeah, brother.
Jim, looks like this thing's ready to go in, but you made some modifications before dropping the engine bay. That's right, nothing like taking a brand new engine apart as soon as you get it. We had to pull the oil pump out for the dry sump, swap the pan, get the pump on it, basically get the transmission, the clutch on it, and it should be ready to go. This is a race purpose built machine, so dry sump will definitely be a really cool addition. The amount of G's that the car is going to pull in the turns, the stock oiling system just wasn't going to cut it. Well, this unique engine is looking even better. Let's keep it moving. Okay, let's get it in there. Thanks for watching Snap-on Tools from the ground up. For more Snap-on videos, click here. And for all things Snap-on, be sure to subscribe.